Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, September the 8th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the SkyCam network, a beautiful sunrise shot from Trustful, and got a few cirrus clouds in the sky, as well as a little bit of a contrail there to the left side of the picture. Surface map this morning showing surface high pressure over the southeastern U.S. and a cold front trailing across the Ohio River Valley. The cold front will probably not make it down to us, but it could become a bit of a backdoor front as it comes down the Appalachians. But like I say, I don't think it's going to reach our area. The main reason it probably won't reach our area is that the upper ridge to our west is going to be moving over us for the next couple of days. And while moisture will increase just enough, it looks like we might see a few isolated showers. But I think for the most part, most of us stay dry until we see a cold front at the end of the week. For your temperatures this morning, we've uh, dipped back into the 60s for most locations across central Alabama. And QPF-wise, we're not looking at a lot of precipitation. Most of that precipitation probably coming on the order of uh, late Thursday and into Friday for uh, the, the approach of the front. Storm Prediction Center is outlooking a slight risk primarily over uh, a good portion of the D Dakotas as well as parts of uh, uh, Montana and Wyoming. For uh, day two, there is no specific slight risk area, but we do have a sea text area just to the west of the Great Lakes. Tropics are relatively active, although we are at the peak of our climatological uh, season, uh, seasonal peak here for activity in the Atlantic Basin. And uh, the area that is out there in the um, extreme eastern Atlantic coming off the uh, African uh, continent, that is uh, the area most likely to become a tropical storm in the next five days. The 060 GFS model run, and there's our surface map for today, and uh, generally high pressure over the southeastern U.S., and it should keep us dry and warm with highs reaching uh, generally the lower 90s for the most part. The upper ridge on Monday comes over uh, the southeastern U.S., and while I think most of us will be dry. You can't rule out the possibility of an isolated shower or two. The ridge is in place on Tuesday, and once again, I think an isolated shower. Wednesday, I think we uh, will see a little bit of drier air, so I think we dry out as a trough begins to uh, take shape for the eastern half of the country. And so once again, I think uh, the southeastern U.S., mostly a dry condition. For um, Thursday, uh, we see the, the trough kind of taking shape, although the ridge is trying to hold in tough. And so I think on, uh, on Thursday, we see the uh, front approaching. Uh, the trough does manage to nudge the ridge out of the way on Friday. And with that, I think we see the front uh, kind of dig into our area. And this is where the forecast uh, does get a little bit uh, kind of murky because on uh, Saturday, we do see the possibility that we might be into a wedge situation, and that might mean some cooler temperatures and some clouds as a result of the air, uh, cold air damming as the air comes around the southern end of the Appalachians, and we'll have to be watching for that. But right now, uh, probably uh, becoming uh, dry over next weekend, and the front settles down uh, on Sunday, a week from today, well into the uh, coastal regions of the southeastern U.S. And when we look at the uh, Long-range voodoo country, day uh, week two. Uh, the GFS still suggesting primarily a ridge pattern for the southeastern U.S. So uh, as of yet, we're still not seeing that uh, first nice cold air, cooler air mass of the southeastern for the southeastern United States, and uh, signaling uh, you know the hint of fall coming just around the corner. That'll do it for the weather extreme video for today. Uh, pardon me for being a little bit quick on the. On getting it done, I need to be out at Barber Motorsports later this morning for uh, emceeing the Ride for Kids as part of the Pediatric Brain Foundation's uh, uh, fundraiser. James Spann should be back with the next edition of the Weather Extreme video first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, I hope that your Sunday is a good one. Have a great day. Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.